Hi guys, boys and girls, it's Miss Vasquez, and I am going to give you the chapter eight review test. So please make sure you look in your packet for page 497. That's where the test starts. If you don't have your packet for some reason, or you don't have the test for some reason, go ahead and you can write down the answers in your notebook. So get a clean sheet of paper. You can write chapter eight test on the top and go ahead and start writing with number one. Vamos a tomar el examen de capítulo 8, repaso examen. Todos los niños de mi clase deben tener esta página en el paquete. So vamos a empezar con página 497. All right. Pencils ready. Good luck. Make sure you have your thinking cap on. Click one side to math. Other side, chapter 8, test. Make sure it's tight. Okay. El casco de pensar. Uh, póntelo, por favor. Un lado, matemática. El otro lado, capítulo 8. Y esté seguro que esté apretadito. All right, let's get going. We're going to start with number one. Put your finger on number one. And it says... One. Write each addition or subtraction problem in the box below the answer. Oh, sorry, that sounded a little funny. Um, dice, escribí, escribe cada oración o problema de sumar o restar en la cajita de abajo. So for each of these, you are going to figure out the answer and then you're going to write it in the box that has the answer. But para, um, cada uno de estos vas a averiguar cuál es la respuesta y vas a escribirlo en la cajita que tiene la respuesta. So let's go ahead and do the first one together. Vamos a hacer el primero junto. The first one says seven plus two. And so I have to figure out what is seven plus two. Okay, siete más dos, if I think about it, seven and two more, that's seven, eight, nine, so nueve. So I can see that the box in the middle here has nine. That's the one I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and write seven plus two in that middle box. And I'm gonna go ahead and cross it out so I don't forget that I already did that one. Voy a atacharlo después de ponerlo en la cajita porque no quiero olvidarme que ya lo hice. So you're going to go ahead and do this one, this one, this one, and this one. You have to write it in one of those boxes on the bottom there. Um, pause the video if you need a little more time and come back when you're ready. Pueden pausar el video a cualquier momento cuando necesitan uh, tiempo y entonces pueden regresar. All right, I'm going to go on to number two. So put your finger on number two. Número dos, it says, choose all the ways that name the model. Escoge todas las maneras que, excuse me, nombran este modelo. So it says all the ways, todas las maneras. That means there's going to be more than one answer. So I see two tens here, and then I see three tens. Veo dos decenas y tres decenas. So I'm going to help you out there. And I'm going to tell you that the first one is definitely one of our answers. So el primero es una de las respuestas. I'm also going to give you a clue and tell you that three of these are the correct answer. There's only one that does not get colored in. So tres de estas son la respuesta correcta. Nada más que va, va a haber uno que no vas a tener que llenar. So go ahead and do number two and come back when you're ready. I'm going to start with number three. Número tres. It says, Sasha has 70 stickers. She uses 40 of them. How many stickers are left? Show your work. Sasha tiene 70 stickers. Va a usar 40 de ellos. ¿Cuántos le quedan? Enseña tu trabajo. So I'm going to use this space here in the box to draw anything I need to figure out the answer. Voy a usar ese espacio para adivinar la respuesta o trabajar para coger la respuesta. Um, remember that you are starting with the number 70 and she uses 40 of them. And I see a math word here, left. So ella empieza con 70, usa 40 y la palabra importante es cuántos quedan. So go ahead, do your work. Don't forget to write your answer there on the line. Pon la respuesta en la línea. And when you are ready, we're going to go to the next page. So vamos a la página que le sigue cuando terminemos. Okay, 
We're on page 498 now. We're going to start with number four, página 498, y vamos a empezar con número cuatro. Four. Use the hundred chart to add. Count on the ones or ten. Okay, vamos a usar la tabla de 100 para sumar y vamos a contar hacia adelante unidades o decenas. So we have to figure out 37 plus 5. We're going to use the hundred chart here. So let me get my pen ready. Um, I want to start with 37. Voy a empezar con 37. Solo voy a encontrar en la tabla de 100 ahí. I see it there on the hundred chart. So that's where I'm going to start. And I want to add 5. Le voy a sumar 5. In the box, it says, explain how you used the chart to find the sum. Explica cómo usaste la tabla para encontrar la suma. So you can basically write anything that helped you, all right? Explain it with pictures, explain it with words, puede explicarlo con dibujos o palabras. Um, I would probably draw something with a 37. I'm going to help you out a little bit here and maybe do some jumping marks because I'm counting on. So, si fuera yo, quizás yo pongo el 37 y le pongo que estoy brincando porque tengo que sumarle 5. Pero todo el mundo va a poner lo que ellos piensan que lo ayudó mejor. You can go ahead and write whatever you want in the box that helped you, but make sure you write something. Okay, voy a seguir con número 5. I'm going to continue with number 5. It says, use the model, draw to show how to add tens. Usa el modelo y escribe cómo... Puedes sumar decenas. And the problem says 33 plus 20. So in the box, we are going to show how we added up those tens because it's adding, it's asking about the tens. Estás preguntando de las decenas. Así que en la cajita voy a dibujar cómo las decenas, uh, cómo sumé las decenas. Now I see that there's three tens here and two here. Hay tres decenas y dos decenas. So voy a usar eso en la cajita. So I'm going to use that in my box to show how I added them. But please do not forget that there are three ones in there too. No se olvide que hay tres unidades también. Go ahead and draw in the box and write your answer on the line. Dibuja en la cajita y escribe la respuesta en la línea. When you're ready, we're going to go on to the next page, page 499. Cuando estén listos, ve la página 499. And we're going to continue with number six. Vamos a continuar con número seis. All right, number six says. Six, use the model. Draw to show how to make. A 10, it didn't finish. Usa el modelo y dibuja cómo enseñar uh, cómo se hace una decena. So you can see we have a lot of ones there. So we're going to use those to make a 10 to add on to our answer. Okay, vamos a usar los, los unidades ahí para hacer una decena para agregarle otra decena a la respuesta. So that means that I'm going to have to draw the ones from 26. One second. There we go. I'm going to draw the ones from 26 and the ones from the 7 in this box here and show how I can use those to make another 10. Voy a dibujar las Unidades del primer número y del segundo número para unirla para hacer una decena. Y entonces voy a averiguar cuántos tengo para la suma. So I'm going to write my answer on the line. Don't forget. And then we're going to continue with number seven. Vamos a seguir con número siete. Number seven says, write the addition sentence that the model shows. Solve. Escribe la oración de sumar que enseña el modelo y resuélvelo. So... I saw a lot of different ways to do this in your homework. So I'm going to show you the best way that we are supposed to be doing it. Um, yo vi muchas diferentes maneras que lo hicieron en la tarea, pero te voy a enseñar cómo se debe hacer. So what you want to do is you want to take all the tens and the ones from the first number, and that's going to be your first number there, and then take all the tens and the ones from the second number, that's going to be your second add-in. So vas a coger todos los, um, la, usar las decenas y las unidades del primer número, de arriba va a ser tu primer número. Los de abajo va a ser el segundo número y entonces lo vas a unir para la suma. Once you have your two add-ins, make sure you add them up for your sum together to write the sum on the final line there. And then we're going to go on to number eight. 
Número 8. It says, what is the difference? ¿Qué es la diferencia? So 15 minus 7 is which one of those? You're going to color in just one answer for this one. 15 menos 7. ¿Qué es la respuesta? Use what you know. Y vas a llenar el, la bolita que tiene la respuesta. Okay, you can use your head, you can use the space to draw, you can use your fingers, it's up to you. And number nine, numero nueve, says what is the sum? ¿Qué es la suma? So this time we're adding. In number eight, we were subtracting. Ahora vamos a sumar. And it's 40 plus 50, so which one of those is the sum? Color in the circle, it's only one answer again. So vas a llenar el huequito de la suma para número nueve. Es nada más que una respuesta. Once you have finished number nine, please turn to page 500. That's going to be our last page. Again, if you don't have this for some reason, you don't have these papers, you can do it in your notebook. Just make sure you are writing the number and the answer and showing your work. Okay, I'm going to continue myself. All right, now we're on number 10, numero 10. 10. Luis has 16 yellow leaves. He has 38 orange leaves. How many leaves does Luis have? Circle the number that makes the sentence true. Luis has 48, 54, 59 leaves. Okay. Luis tiene 16 hojas amarillas y también tiene 38 38 hojas anaranjadas. ¿Cuántas hojas tiene Luis? Vas a circular el número que hace que la oración es verdad. So, Luis tiene 48, 54 o 59 hojas. So, you have this space right here. Tienen un espacio muy grande al lado que pueden usar. Use that to work out your problem. Remember, we are working with 16 and 38 Estamos usando 16 y 38, so esos son los números que quiero dibujar. Draw it out, work it out there, and you're only going to circle one of these numbers. Nada más que uno de estos números es la respuesta, uno de esos números, y vas a circular ese número. And when you're ready, we're going to go on to number 11. Número 11, 11 le sigue. Number 11 says, match the math sentences that count on and back by tens. Vamos a empatar la oración de arriba que está sumando con la oración de abajo que está restando. Now, I don't want you to work, worry too much about finding the sum or finding the differences because you're going to use the numbers in the math sentences to help you figure out. They give you clues because they're going to have the same numbers from the same fact family. So, no quiero que se um, preocupen mucho encontrar la suma de los números de arriba o la diferencia de los números abajo. Porque vas a ver que los números van a tener, las oraciones van a tener los números en común porque son familia de números. So, let's do the first one together and you'll see what I mean. Vamos a hacer el primero y vas a saber de qué hablo. So, 38 plus 30 is... I don't know, but I know the two add-ins are 38 and 30. That means that one of those numbers is going to be on one of the bottom sentences, and that's going to be the one that goes with it. 38 más 30, no sé cuántos son, pero yo sé que o el número 38 o el número 30 va a aparecer en la oración de abajo de, su, de restar porque van a tener los mismos números. So I'm looking for 38 or 30. I don't see it in this one. No lo veo acá. And I don't see it in this one, but I do see the 30 right here. So that's the one that matches. Yo puedo ver que este 30 lo tiene este. So voy a empatar estos dos. I'm going to match them using the blue circle. So I'm going to draw a line from the blue circle on the top to the blue circle on the bottom part. There's two more you're going to do on your own. So go ahead and do those now. Hay dos más que vas a hacer um, solos. Vas a hacer esos ahora. You should have three lines when you're done for number 11. Debes tener tres líneas cuando acabes para número 11. By the way, if you look at the bottom there, 68 minus 30, the one that we matched, you can see that the sum would be 68. La suma sería 68 para el que hicimos porque veo que el número grande es 68. All right, last one is number 12. 
we made it to the end. So numero 12, it says, find the sum of 62 plus 15. Use any way to add. Vas a encontrar la suma de 62 más 15 y puedes usar cualquier manera de sumar. Um, you're going to use this box here to draw the numbers, draw the models. You can draw the models. You can draw the numbers. You can draw words. Me personally, I would draw models of tens and ones. Puedes dibujar modelos. Puedes dibujar um, números. Puedes escribir palabras. Yo personalmente, yo lo hacía hacer, um, usando decenas y unidades para enseñar los números. Any way you want, just make sure you draw something in there. And of course, don't forget to write your sum on the line. Cualquier manera que quieras, pero no se olviden de dibujar o escribir algo en esa cajita y poner la suma en la línea. Once you finish that one, you're all done with the Chapter 8 test. We will be also taking the Chapter 8 test on Think Central. So make sure that you understand everything that's on here. Have somebody, um, mom or dad, help you out after you're done. Send us a picture of your test so we can check it. Um, vamos a tomar ese examen casi igual en la computadora también en Think Central. So sé seguro que entiendes todo bien. Mándeme una foto o, y también dile a mami o papi que te ayuden a revisarlo para que lo entiendan bien antes de hacer el examen de Think Central. All right, guys, good luck. I hope you are doing well. We all miss you very much, and we'll talk soon, I hope. Bye.